Hey everyone, I thought I'd make this video to give you a quick rundown on how to go about creating a chart in Google Spreadsheets. Um, the first thing you should do is go ahead and create a spreadsheet that lists and collates all of your data from all of your questions. In this first column, I would put your uh, actual questions, uh, but skip this first cell over here. So start listing your questions in column A, starting with cell A2. Then up in here, you can simply put A, B, C, D, E, or whatever question has the highest amount of choices. Some of your questions might only have yes or no, true or false, where others might have A, B, C, others still might have A, B, C, D, E. So whichever question has the most answer choices, go ahead and put that many answer choices up on top here. Don't worry about, um, you know, some questions might have numbers as answers, some questions might be yes or no. Just go ahead and put A, B, C, D, E to mark those particular answer choices. Then go ahead and fill in all your data like I have right here. Now, once you're done doing that, go ahead and rename this tab down here. Just right click, come up to rename and call it master data, okay? And then you want to add a new sheet. And you can create one of these by hitting the plus button that says add sheet. Now yours will say sheet two, uh, mine says sheet three because I created one and then deleted it. But once you go back to your master data sheet, go ahead and pick four questions that you want to go ahead and graph. So let's say I wanted to graph who is your favorite superhero. So I'm going to copy that question, come back over to this tab, and again, starting in A2, paste that right there. And if you need to resize the column, you can just hover over between column A and B and double click, and then it will go ahead and resize it for you. Now, up, instead of putting A, B, C, D, and E again, you're going to go ahead and put in the actual choices that were listed on your survey. So here it might be Batman, Superman, Iron Man, Thor, Wolverine. Okay. Now I'm going to go back here and then copy the data from those choices. So I want to copy that again, come back over here and then paste that data, okay? Now that I have my data here, I highlight what I want to graph, and then come here and go to Insert Chart. Now, it looks a little better as a column chart, so go ahead and select Column Chart. If you don't see that choice, you can always go to Charts, and then click Column right there, and then pick the first one, and then it'll show you what it looks like over here and then go to insert, okay? So you can go ahead and move this over so it doesn't hide your data. And you can give this a chart title by double clicking. And maybe you would put favorite superhero, okay? Uh, I think you have to hit enter to apply. I didn't do that, so let's try that again. Okay, and there we go. Now. If you click this arrow and click uh, Advanced Editor, the first choice, you can go ahead and also add in a left axis too. So on the Y axis, you can call this Number of Responses. And then you can go ahead and hit Enter, and then you see how it puts it in there. Okay. Now, apparently Google Spreadsheets changed a little bit since the last time I used this, and there is no easy way to go ahead and put the numbers above the columns because it seems that Google wants, it to, wants you to live on, in that graph online. It doesn't want you to go ahead and print it out um, to have, the, have that data there. So if you'll notice, when you hover over a column, it will tell you the exact value of that column. Okay. So it does do that. So if we went to update, okay, 
Now, when I go ahead and come back over here, if I hover over it, you see that how it's not coming up anymore? That's because this little pencil is clicked. If I go ahead and click view mode, you'll see that it pops back up. So if you're not getting those particular values, go ahead and make sure you're not clicked on the pencil. Make sure that you're clicked on view mode. Okay, so you see those particular values. Now, if you really did need to print out your graph and you needed it to say six above the Batman column, 21 over Superman column, and so on and so forth, you can do that in Excel. It's pretty easy from Google Spreadsheets. So if you go from, to File, then go to Download as Microsoft Excel, it'll go ahead and put all of your data for you into an Excel spreadsheet. Now, this is on a Mac. You'll find something similar when you are um, using Windows. But again, if I go to Sheet 3, you'll see the exact same um, chart from um, Google Spreadsheets. But if I go over here to the Chart column and click on my chart, you'll see that a Chart Layout button appeared and so did Format. If I go to Chart Layout and I go to Data Labels, I can go to value and it'll stick the value of each bar on top of here. Now, if I really needed to use this um, as I'm writing my article, as in I really, you know, I'm typing away and I wanted to insert this, this graph in the article itself, I can right click on the chart and then click save as picture. Okay. So then as you are typing in your article, if you needed to put a chart in there with the values listed above each bar graph, you can just insert it as a picture just like you would um, any other picture. Okay, any other questions, uh, let me know.